Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen. Today's video I've got a huge home bargains haul for you. I have found a lot of really nice things, great for Easter and just great for getting into that spring and summer period. I have got on my kind of spring kind of clothes now because it is such a gorgeous day and I do love wearing all my light colours at this time of year. I'm very done with the whole cold and I'm so excited for summer and the warm weather. So yeah, this is going to be today's video, so please don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and let's go straight into this home bargains haul. So normally in about April or May time, I do try and put some fake tan on. I just feel a lot nicer in summer. I don't really have the effort to do it in winter, because it's kind of obvious that you've not got a tan, and I feel like it just looks a bit silly on me but I do really love doing fake tan as soon as it gets warmer. So I have picked up some fake tans. So I've picked up the Sunkist Gradual Tan. This is the medium slash dark. And I've picked up this one because they didn't have the usual St. Moritz in my home bargains. And I do really like gradual tans. I just feel like I don't have to sit and wait around and feel really sticky for a while. And they are just great for whacking on and then you don't really have to do anything. So this one says that your tan will develop in four to six hours. And this one doesn't say that you wash it off. And that's why I kind of like the gradual tans. I never wash them off even if it says to do so unless it is like a really sticky one. So yeah, this is the one that I've picked up. They also had a mousse in home bargains but it was ultra dark and I've never tried Sunkiss products before so I don't know how dark that would be because I don't like my tan too dark and then to go with it I picked up the St. Moritz self tan remover and this is the in shower skin polishing tan remover so this is the one that I picked up I have always seen this when I'm out and about buying tans and things and then I never pick it up and then when I do want to try and pick it up it's never around so I have it picked it up this time just to make sure I'm definitely going to have it for this summer. I've heard really good things about this tan remover and I really struggle to get my tan off most of the time. The Sunkiss Gradual Tan was $1.99 and the fake tan remover was $3.99. So it's a bit pricey, but I think it is pricey in like super drug and things. Yeah, those are the first two items that I picked up. Next few bits are a few bakey cooking items. But one of the things that I picked up was this cookie mix, and this is great for Easter. So this baking kit is to create biscuits and to decorate with lemon icing and sugar sprinkles. The packaging of this is just gorgeous. I love how it comes in the box. They also have instructions on the back on how to actually make the cookies, which is very helpful. I like how that it is on the box. I love this little cutter. This was like one of the main reasons why I bought it because I find like for Easter you never find any Easter cutters or anything like this and this one is just so cute. It is a little rabbit with some ears. So I've just had a little peek inside to see what actually comes with it. It doesn't really say anything that's definitely included on the front. So it comes with the cookie mix, it comes with rainbow sprinkles and it comes with some yellow icing. So that is perfect and I can't wait to be doing this around Easter time. Then I picked up a whisk. This is from the Jane Asher range and I love Jane Asher products in home bargains. I think they're so good, so affordable, and they always do feel really nice quality. So this is the whisk, and it comes with a bamboo handle. So this is what, is what it looks like. It feels like a good sturdy whisk as well. So this was only £1.49. They did have sets of three, but they were a lot smaller, but I really wanted the big one. Then the final little baking thing that I've picked up is the Jane Asher Red Velvet Cupcake Mix. I love Red Velvet. I've not had it in ages, and I do struggle to make Red Velvet on its own. I find like I really struggle to get like like the colour and it just doesn't look like a proper red velvet when I do it so hopefully this is going to be a really good mix. With this box the only added ingredients that you need to get yourself is eggs, water, vegetable oil and butter. It even comes with like the sprinkles and the cupcake cases and things and this one makes 12 apparently so yeah very happy with this and this was only £1.49 also. Next I picked up a new water bottle. I'm not quite sure if these are new but these were definitely like more summery kind of water bottles and I don't think I've seen them before in my home bargains but I got this one it's got cute little watermelons all over it and they did have some other ones in different colors with like different fruits on but I thought the watermelon one was very summery and this one comes with a little infuser inside not like I ever use it I just liked it for the bottle the lid just pops open and then you just drink from like this hole it's not like a straw water bottle or anything and I picked this one up because I've just broken my water bottle for work basically this little clippy thing here 
I kind of broke the plastic bit off so it will never close. So if I ever knock it over, all of my drink comes out, which is really annoying. So I had to buy another one. So this one was £2.49. Picked up some of my favourites. So I picked up the Imperial Leather Foam Burst, which is the Raspberry Flamingo one. I love this one. They also had the Joe Nuts and Cream one and they are getting more of the summery scents back in. But I love this. I love how creamy it is when you're washing your body with it. And I do like like foamy washes and things. So yeah, I love this. But I love all of the scents to be honest they do all smell incredible i think these may have gone down slightly in price as well because this is one pound 79 but i think the first time i paid for it last year i think they were about two pounds so i think these are definitely going down in price which is also another good thing the next thing that i picked up was this cute little gratitude journal it says strong mind grateful heart and I love the pastel -y, pinky purple colour that it's got on. I'm going to just open it up because it is sealed. I couldn't actually see what was inside, if it's like a planned layout or if it's just lined paper. Oh, it is laid out. It's really nice. So this is what the inside's looking like. So there's two different like page layouts. There's one that says sweet dreams. I think that's obviously for what you fill out at night time. And then the good morning sunshine's for the morning. But it says a thought for today, things you're grateful for, positive things that happen today, things that you're excited about today. So I love how that's set out. I really wish that they had not put like a plastic sealant over it because I think a lot of people would buy this once they saw it inside. So yeah, very happy with that. I love gratitude journals that do have like a layout. I find like they're really helpful. And this was only £1.49. The next thing I got is pretty boring. It's just the Nivea Pearl and Beauty Roll-On Antiperspirant. It says 48 hour protection and I've not actually tried this one. I do love the black and white one. I don't, I think it's called the invisible one or something, but this one looked really nice. I just thought I'd try a new one. How exciting. Trying a new roll-on deodorant. Wow. Just how exciting can my life get? It smells like the other Nivea deodorants, but you know, this one just looks a tiny bit pretty, I suppose. <laughs> the last few items are just some food bits. So I picked up these Reese's for Peanut Butter Cups King Size. I'm very hit and miss with Reese's. I really want to like it, but I have to really be in the mood. Like, I'm not a huge fan of like peanut butter things. I know I like butter fingers every now and again. With Reese's, I'm very hit and miss with like which kind of Reese's I like and stuff. I've not actually tried the big peanut butter cups. I know I like the mini ones, so I thought I'd just give these a go. They're only 9 99p and they also had white chocolate ones i wasn't feeling quite adventurous at that point when i bought them so i thought i'd just be safe and just go with the normal ones so yeah i got some reese's then i got a big bag of monster munch this is the pickled onion flavor i bought these for tom because he loves these these are like his ultimate favorite crisps of all time these are only 99p and you do get a good amount in here there's only a tiny bit of the bag that's actually air but you do get a lot of the monster munch ones currently on the hunt to find the monster munch giants that they've just brought out currently not found them yet so if you know where they sell them please let me know down in the comments but yeah so i picked these up 99p now the last thing that i picked up i actually got two of these these are the mini cream egg packs i've counted inside and i think you get six mini ones these were only 89p so i think they're a tiny bit cheaper than other places i have bought these because i'm going to do some baking with them they're currently freezing that's where the other pack is they're in the freezer because apparently Apparently, if you put cream eggs in the freezer, if you're going to make them with something, it kind of stops like all the inside disappearing and things, and you actually do get like that proper cream egg look. So yeah, this was the final thing that I've picked up. So that was everything in my home bag and haul. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below, and I will see you next time. Bye!